and who will represent the American League at the World Series the Red Sox and the Astros playing off for that chance Marwin Gonzalez with a long home run hit it over the monster seats her name is Beth she's from Houston and she's got the ball Wow now that is a souvenir a Rob Manfred special right there Astros fans have traveled well here to Boston everywhere you go downtown you see the bright orange of the Houston Astros fans and they've well, been the well represented here or the cowboy hats all smiles what a team they have to root for I asked you in the open are we watching an historically good team here meaning put them up with some of the best teams in the annals of the game it's hard to say that four games into a postseason but these are the defending world champs and they have had their thumb on their opponents every game so far in this postseason hey listen no one's defended since the Yankees uh, from 1998 to 2000 so let's just say right now they're playing the best baseball I think of all the teams in the postseason you know that's the key uh, for this October's do you peak right at the right time Despite winning 103 games, this team went through a lot this year with injuries to some key players. There's a strike to J.D. Martinez. Got Xander Bogarts due next. 3-4-5 in the Boston order. Martinez lined out to Altuve his first time up. And a swing and a miss. Garrett Cole strikes him out for the first out. Moments ago, Lauren had a chance to catch up with Astros skipper A.J. Hinch. A.J., they're aggressive early as Cole settled in your eyes. Well, I'm glad he got out of that first inning mess, you know, and he was pretty amped up early, wasn't really making pitches, escaped with only two runs. I think he's settled down now. How do you continue to put pressure on Price? We just got to keep putting base runners on. You know, every inning we've had a couple guys on. We capitalized last inning, the last two innings. We keep putting base runners on, give ourselves a chance, put some pressure on him. Appreciate it. You got it. Well, retiring six straight batters will get you where you want to be. Yesterday's game, Justin Verlander found that lane to the outside corner to righties right from the first inning. Cole has not found it yet, but he seems to be zeroing in. A strike out of Martinez facing Bogarts now and a wave and a miss. And now stake to four runs. You know, Garrett Cole was given a lot of run support this season. He received seven point three runs of support per start this year has not lost a game since August 10th he's kind of the opposite of David Price at least Price in the postseason but it's more than just being in the sweet spot of the rotation that gets the runs when you're pitching as well as Garrett Cole there is a mentality by your position player group that this guy's going to keep him down you're a little more freed up offensively it would seem and they score some runs. They score runs against anybody, but especially when Cole's on the mound. It's an extraordinary number. Seven plus yeah. runs per start this year. I mean, that, that costs you a lot of dinners on the road, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> now for the first time with that home run, first time in Major League history, homers in 14 consecutive postseason games. That home run by Gonzalez. That's what the Astros have going right now. Able to check his swing. Joe West enthusiastically says, no, he didn't go. Well, now we've seen a changeup that was thrown to J.D. Martinez. And here, the 2-2 changeup to Bogarts that he held up on. Unlike Justin Verlander, Garrett Cole likes his changeup and likes to use it often. 3-2 pitch and a shot back up the middle. Right by the feet of Garrett Cole and Xander Bogarts with a one out single. That breaks up six in a row retired by Cole had a couple of strikeouts in that grouping. And now he'll pitch from the stretch with Steve Pierce coming up. Well the day of the shift the ball that goes right back up the middle you have to kind of check yourself for a second. Make sure that no one's in that position. But you have to play pretty straight up against Bogarts who can hit the ball to all fields. Astros do play a little modified shift here with Steve Pierce. Expecting him to pull on the ground. Altuve is close enough to second. Ah. 
Pierce. There's a strike to Pierce. It's only the third inning. It's only game two. But it feels like an inning where Boston needs to get some runs on the board. They need to do some damage against Garrett Cole in the third inning. They've already struck for two of the first. But I think you're right. A quick answer is needed. And Pierce Ooh. takes a strike. Two former Pirates here and Steve Pierce and Garrett Cole. Pierce has been making his tour through the American League East. Came to the Red Sox from the Blue Jays. Been a nice pickup for them. And with Mitch Moreland nursing a sore hamstring. Not really a platoon. That's a nice block back there by Maldonado. Keeps Bogarts at first. Keeps a double play intact. The real good catchers when they block the ball they'll try to sometimes take their glove out of play so it won't carry them off their glove and just play it right off the chest protector. That's textbook by Maldonado. He leans into it and leans forward. Learn that technique from the brothers Molina. In the air left field hit well. Gonzalez back reaches up it's off his glove and off the wall. Bogarts will hold at third into second is Pierce with a double and Marwin Gonzalez is down in left field the monster bit him right there crashed hard up against the wall second and third with one away Springer asking for some medical attention for Marwin Gonzalez. Well this is one of the hardest uh, plays to make here at Fenway Park. It's that ball that you think you have a chance to make the play and it puts you in harm's way once you get close to that wall and that's what happened to Gonzalez. And all those notches where the hand operated scoreboard is there's these little notches and angles and I mean there's there's no padding there folks and that is a direct hit like you may have either his back or his head as he slams into the wall. Boy, had it in his glove for a moment. Yeah, I think it was his back. I didn't see his head jolt back and hit the wall. It is appropriately named the Green Monster. And Gonzalez is down. Sometimes when you hit your back against a wall like that, you'll lose your breath. I mean this play happens and this injury happens because he sold out to try to make that play for his pitcher. Anxious moments here for the Astros as they watch their teammate being tended to. And you know he's trying all he can to remain in this game. Marwin Gonzalez pops a two run home run in the top of this third inning. It looks like he's going to stay in this game. He just needs a, a few moments. Astros athletic trainer Scott Berenger is out with A.J. Hinch. And he shoes him away. So he's going to stay. That's a good sign for the Astros. It's going to tough it out. Garrett Cole tips his cap to Marvin Gonzalez. Appreciates the effort trying to make that catch. I was saying sometimes when you hit your back against the wall like that, it'll just like knock the wind out of you. Just as Gonzalez made eye contact with his pitcher. It's a very tight knit ball club. They love each other. They support each other they rag on each other but it is a very interesting culture with the Astros so Gonzalez will stay second and third big chance for Boston right now as Rafael Devers takes ball one Devers with a big RBI hit in his first at bat
Devers in the first inning. Chance to drive in a second run, and he defied the shift with that base hit. Made it 2-0 Boston in the first. Two and all the count. Devers takes one down and in. Ball three. Base open at first. There is one out. And Ian Kinsler is due next. Walks not the worst thing in the world for Garrett Cole, but the fire is burning here in Boston. Except with the two run lead, you wouldn't want to get another base runner. And he walks him. So Devers is aboard. That loads him up. There is that double play opportunity now to get out of the inning, but Ian Kinsler could do some damage now as the Astros bullpen starts to stir. Well, Kinsler in his first at bat was really blown away by Cole. Be interesting to see if the veteran tries to turn it up a notch, especially on this first pitch. Kinsler has not had good success in his career against Garrett Cole. Just two hits in 26 career at bats. Strike on the outside corner. 98 mile an hour bullet right on the edge. And it's 0 1. Cole had a big strike out of Kinsler in that first inning. That really set him up to get out of that mess with only two runs and a wave and a miss. To your point, Ron. Just he's got him on that seesaw pitching. He, he's beating him with the fastball. He's got to turn it up a notch to catch up to it, and the slider baffles him. Second inning out of three. Boston has had the bases loaded. Cole deals and a swing and a miss. He struck him out on three pitches. Second time Kinsler is down on strikes. Third for Garrett Cole. Just a high slider that really didn't do a lot, but just behind it was Kinsler in between that entire at bat. So now two men are out. Cole from the windup. Kinsler has left six men on in his first two at bats here tonight. Jackie Bradley Jr. down for Boston. He takes a ball. Just one hit in the regular season with bases loaded. Boston had 10 grand slams this season. They did damage with the bases full. And Maldonado is going to take this opportunity to use a mound visit. Well, I've watched Garrett Cole about a half dozen of his starts this year. And he always under control. You feel like this moment he's trying to throw a little too hard. Um, not pitching, more throwing in this game. Sometimes pitchers get in these situations, they want to bull rush through the inning as, a blow, as opposed to kind of finesse your way through the inning. From the windup, deals and a swing and a miss. High fastball, tough to catch up to. Well, Maldonado, the pitching whisperer mm -hmm. right now. He sure is. Pitchers love throwing to him. In the air, left field, that is slicing. Down in the corner, and it is off the wall. Two runs are in, and Devers is going to score. It's a three-run double. Jackie Bradley Jr., Boston on top. into play in the regular season or the postseason. A.J. Hinch talking to home plate umpire Carapaza. 
ball hit about halfway off that wall. And what A.J. Hinch is arguing, did that ball go into the stands at some point? If it did, be a ground rule double, and Devers would come back to first base. Uh, sorry, stay at third base. Put the three on the board, not the case. Stayed in the field of play. It's a three spot, three run double for Jackie Bradley Jr. Two outs for Christian Vasquez. The Red Sox are back in the lead now. Big hit for Bradley. And on the first pitch, a big swing and a miss. And the bounce and stays on the padding, which is in play. Yep. And just rode down past Gonzalez. That allowed Devers to score. He was content to stop. It was going to be a two-run double no matter what. But Devers was waved home by Carlos Febles after that friendly roll down the padding. A ball and a strike on the Red Sox catcher. Most he's given up all year. How impressive is that season? That this is the most he's allowed, but it comes in game two of the ALCS as Vasquez fouls it away. How impressive is this Red Sox offense to do this to the talented Cole? Garrett Cole pitching in September at Fenway, September 7th, gave up two earned runs in six innings. He had a five earned run game in his only other start opening day April 3rd of last year pitching for the Pirates. So in his three starts now he's given up 12 earned runs. In 14 innings. One ball two strikes on Vasquez. Bradley the runner at second and a swing and a miss. A strikeout to end the inning. Back and forth they go. 